Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool 233G three-slot payphone. It's in very good condition for its age. And this is Mike's equipment from Arizona. Mike has a note with this unit, and he's talking about how his dad worked for the phone company. His mom did too. She was an operator, and his brother, and then some other relatives. He actually worked for the phone company for a while. So they have a long history with a phone company and their background, and so that's pretty cool and the phone reminds him of his family and they're going to be using this telephone this pay phone in his kitchen so we want to go ahead and do a complete conversion of this unit we need to install a modular line port so that Mike can simply bring in any length any color line cord he chooses and plug right into the line port makes for a simple easy plug-and-play connection. We also want to install a bell and a bell circuit. We need to go through the hook switch. We need to go through our contacts. We need to go through this wiring and rewire this payphone the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. We also want to go through the receiver and the transmitter we want to troubleshoot our security cable and we'll be going through all of that. Now we have a set of keys here for both locks and that's cool. It already has its locks installed. We want to go through the rotary. We want to make sure that that's cleaned, oiled, and adjusted. We also have a little issue going on with the finger stop. It's loose so when we get into the rotary we'll be working on that also we want to make sure all the coins are dropping through the coin validator and down into the vault area so we'll take care of that we're gonna go ahead and give you some still pictures of the inside of the front cover and we'll do a few still pictures of our unit also our backboard So we want to go ahead and get a start on this unit. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool 233G three-slot payphone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we're in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this three-slot payphone. And we want to show a little bit about what's going on. Now we're working on the coin validator. We want to make sure that the quarters, dimes, and nickels pass through the coin validator and fall into the vault area. So we're going to take care of that issue. Now we also are working on the rotary. We want to make sure that the rotary is cleaned, oiled, and adjusted. We want to take a look at the points. We want to go through them. We want to make sure that the rotary is racking off properly and that the numbers are being dialed properly. So we're going to take a look at that. We're also into the front of the rotary. Earlier in the video we showed that the finger stop was really loose. So that issue was taken care of. And we can go ahead and swing that back around. If you've never seen the inside of one of the rotaries out of a three slot payphone, this is a 233G. We have some various parts here that belong to the rotary and we have a dust cover. So now what we want to do 
is we want to finish that work up. We also want to troubleshoot our receiver. We want to troubleshoot the transmit, the receive, and the security cable. So we'll be taking care of that. We want to go through the hook switch. We want to install a bell, a bell circuit. We also want to rewire this unit the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. And we're going to take care of those issues. So we have a lot to do. We need to install a modular line port. We'll take care of that. And we're going to go ahead and take a short break. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool three slot payphone. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this really cool 233G three slot payphone. And we want to start our final checkout. Now, I also want to mention a few things that went on earlier in the video we talked about installing a modular line port so that Mike could bring in any length line cord, any color that he chooses, plug right into the modular line port, and it makes for a simple, easy plug and play connection. And we'll do a still picture of that. Now we also want to talk about the receiver. On a payphone, the receiver cap and the transmitter cap are epoxied on. So we made sure that they were broke free because this handset has the older style T1 transmitter in it and they can become noisy, they crackle, they kind of sizzle and pop a little bit. And the one that's in it is in pretty good condition but we wanted to make sure that it could be replaced in the future if necessary. And the same with the receiver capsule. So the caps are loose and they can be taken off and the components can be changed if need be. Now we also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. Now what we can do is we can put some change into the unit and it will fall down into the vault area. We'll go ahead and put a quarter in. That will gong the unit one time. We'll put a dime in. That will ring the bell twice. We'll use a nickel. That will ring the bell once. We'll do another quarter. And the gong would tell the operator at the other end because it gonged through her receiver. She knew or he knew that a quarter was installed and also a dime will ring the bell twice. They could hear that. That was their signal to know how much money that you put in. Here's a nickel that'll ring the bell one time. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and ring this unit. We installed a bell and a bell circuit. We rewired this unit the way we wanted it wired to work the way we want it to work. We also went through the hook switch. We worked on everything on the payphone basically and now what we can do is we'll use the analyzer and we'll send a ring cycle. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. I have a button on my amplifier and I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. Now what we can do is we can use the rotary. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch your numbers roll by.
I'm going to end in a 2. Now what we can do is transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> hello, hello. So now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, it's dialing out, we have transmit and receive, we can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. Go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll call that number. Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, April 26th. The time is 5.04. Current temperature 63 degrees. Now the weather forecast for the Belleville area. Mostly cloudy today, showers and thunderstorms likely, highs around 80, mostly cloudy this evening, showers and thunderstorms likely, lows in the lower 60s, showers and thunderstorms likely on Wednesday, highs around 80. Hang our unit up. Now what we can do is we can call my number and it'll be busy, give you some dial tone, and we'll make that call. Go ahead and hang our unit up. We also want to mention that whenever you remove the front cover, you want to push in at the bottom of the front cover, and then you can go ahead and turn your key. You want to take the pressure off of that key, and these front covers are spring-loaded, so it helps to push in at the bottom and then turn your key. Same thing with when you're replacing the cover and putting it back on. You want to push in at the bottom, and then you can use your key. It takes the pressure off the unit. Now that we know that this really cool 233G three-slot payphone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Mike, and he can enjoy this telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's installed. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www dot a1 hyphen telephone dot com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959 thank you for watching and have a great day